it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Hey everybody, getting down to the last ones here. I've got three left, so we're going to count them down. And this is one I've been looking forward to. Nice American flag cap there. The, uh, this one is the JA014US. And the label is as such. The handwritten ID and some very fine print. I'll read it to you. This is a chocolate stout. Um, 8.3% ABV, 49.2 IBU, and the ingredients are two-row pale malt, Maris Otter pale, chocolate malt, roasted barley victory, crystal 80, and crystal 40. And then in the boil, we've got baking cocoa, centennial hops, challenger hops, and East Kent Goldings, fermented out with SO4. And it had three weeks in primary, two weeks in secondary with cocoa nibs, cacao nibs, and raspberry pie filling. Then a four-day tertiary. Whew. Bottled on 5-2-2014. He even put some thank yous up down there in the very, very fine print. Let's get into it. Here it is. All right. Nice hiss. Not a whole lot of smoke rolling off of there. That's okay. There's some in the bottle. I can see it. Aha. <laughs> I can already smell that raspberry. I had to wait for the storm to die down to do this one. It's raining like crazy. All right, so we got a, a murky brown coming out here. Not a real dark beer. But uh, in my experience, I've also had that same thing happen with... Uh, cocoa. Not so much the cacao nibs. I think this was bottle conditioned. I would say most definitely. And uh, got a little cap on there. Of course this camera makes everything look really dark. So um, at least in this lighting. And of course I don't have a flashlight so what do you know. But uh, we got a very very murky brown color. Um, that really doesn't bother me at all. I've had some great beers that look like that. But it is a, uh, it's not really black. So, yeah, it's quite, quite brown. Good nose. The head died off a little bit, but it is leaving some nice glass lacing a little bit there. Some legs coming down. 8.2%. Wow chocolate and raspberry huge chocolate huge raspberry on that <sighs> now if I'm not mistaken the information about the raspberries is not on the uh, specialty ingredients um, or brewers ingredients section on the website so uh, my dad asked me if there was raspberries in it because he didn't watch his video and uh, he couldn't read the fine print on the label so between the character limit on the website and the small print um, I don't know if everyone is going to be aware that it has a raspberry and uh, be looking for that or be aware of it but back to the nose <sighs> it smells really good to me <laughs> I love chocolate stouts and uh, you know, I've never been a huge fan of fruiting the beer, but um, I think in a Corona, it's justified. And I think that this is smelling awesome. I love it. And it doesn't smell like 
fake raspberries. It smells like the real deal. And you smash them up good in a pie, you know. Oh, yeah. Take a whiff of that. Mm. I'm going to dive in. All right. Well, the first thing I get is the cocoa, or the cacao. It's, it's chocolate, and it's sweet chocolate. It's not, it's not, you know, bitter, bitter chocolate, dark chocolate. Definitely like milk chocolate, like chocolate milk. The next thing I get is raspberries. Huge, huge, huge raspberries. And I like that. And... Wow. Lots of uh, creaminess on the mouthfeel. Really, really creamy. Um, again, I'm a little bit of bitterness in there. And the bitterness to me isn't from the, uh, isn't from the hops, really. It's, um, and it's not from the fruit or anything else. I think maybe that bitterness is just from the hops, but they're so mild that it's, it's just there to balance. Just sort of balance it out. Um, the 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 headliners of this are definitely the the cocoa and the uh, raspberry. I'm gonna let this warm up a minute. I'll be back. Another thing I want to mention that the selected BJC BJCP style is 13C oatmeal stout, and I don't see oats anywhere on here. So I think that might have been. Maybe a, an error on your part, Mr. JAO14. Um, but I am not, this is that classic case of, you know, getting pigeonholed into a BJCP style in a competition. Um, and, you know, this is like that long debate whether or not these styles should be. You know, beer should be held to that, those strict guidelines of a style. In mean, a competition like this, um, it's almost best to take the gloves off, you know, just go for it, just say it's, it's a beer, and then everything gets judged as such. But uh, this was, in this competition I know, is, was decided to be a, a learning tool so that everyone could use that and kind of understand those style guidelines better. And so, if you didn't know what style the beer fell into, or if it fell outside of a style knowingly, then you had to intentionally select specialty beer or no category. So, this one, I think, um, I don't have the list of guidelines or styles, style guide in front of me, but uh, I'm pretty positive that you didn't mean to choose oatmeal stout. Um, unless you just forgot to list it in your ingredients so anyway enough of that ramble back to the beer the the nose is very nice as I said before um, mouthfeel is still great uh, I am enjoying it I mean the only thing I think that I would wanna give you any advice on or recommendations would be the, the color um, and I know that when you add a bunch of cocoa to a beer, it's hard to get it to clear up, but... Yeah. As far as off flavors, um, I'm not really getting much. There is a ever so slight um, bit of a, a, um, a plastic. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's not really a phenolic. Uh, even though they have plastic, plastic adhesive strip, medicinal in there. I don't get the medicinal. I don't get the medicinal at all. I get, it's a very, very light plastic type smell. And I know you fermented in plastic, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that's it. I think it just might be a, a methanol kind of byproduct. Uh, you know, some people may perceive it as, as alcohol, uh, a boozy smell. I'm, I'm not getting that. 
I don't smell the alcohol at all when I, when I sniff it. Um, although I do taste it a little bit. Or not taste it, I can feel it. It's a sensation. Um, but yeah, all in all, great job. Cheers. I'm really, really enjoying this beer. And uh, best of luck in the challenge. Cheers.